Josh Jackson recently cut his list to nine schools. Adam Finkelstein is here to handicap the field. Welcome in to ESPN's Recruiting Nation. I'm Phil Murphy, and I'm joined by the aforementioned ESPN recruiting reporter Adam Finkelstein. A Adam, you got to be pretty nasty to cut a list to nine, especially when some of those have a decent basketball pedigree. Arizona, Duke, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisville, Maryland, Michigan State. I'm forgetting two, Carolina and UNLV. We're going to have you make that list a little bit more manageable. Who among those schools really has a chance to land this kid? So we've got to shrink it from wherever he wants. Yes. That, that's just the bottom line. <laughs> so the reality here is, is he really can go wherever he wants, uh, but he's got everybody guessing right now. I think Maryland is a school right now that thinks they're developing some traction. That's, that's been a little bit of the, the scuttlebutt here on the July recruiting circuit. There's also some people who think he's going to explore the Emmanuel Moutier route oh, wow. and maybe go straight overseas. I'm not sure how much validity there is to that, but as I said, this is a guy who's got everybody guessing right now. I don't think there's anybody who feels really good about where they are in his recruiting. Well, with that kind of ability, it's no surprise he's on the short list of those who can make the claim as the best player in the class. Yeah. But Thon Maker recently got the better of him at the UA Association Finals. Jackson is a stud, but which part of his game do you think needs the most work at this stage? Well, right now it's his skill set. He is a highest level athlete. He's got a terrific motor. Actually, sometimes his motor can get the better of him because he's ultra competitive. Got to learn to slow down a little bit. But, but what people question right now is his skill set, specifically as it translates to the half court game at the next level and then at the NBA level after that. So he's got to be a guy who continues to develop his ball skills, his ability not only to make open shots and to create plays, but he's got to do something that can translate to a half court set so he can be the type of guy you can run a play for. Yeah, we see there on that VO, gets a steal, behind the back, dribbles up and hits right. a three. Absolutely lethal player with the ball in his hands. He is ESPN recruiting reporter Adam Finkelstein. Adam, thanks. Thank you. For more on this story and breakdowns of other elite level prospects, search basketball recruiting on ESPN.com. For Adam Finkelstein, I'm Phil Murphy. Thanks for watching.